Okay, guys. Okay, so this is little Caleb. He's new, awesome. Anyway, this is my son. I am doing this. I know it's been a while. I'm doing this video today for my friend um, Jared because you know he made this request and I haven't done a video in so long. But this um, video that I'm about to do is dear to my heart. It's concerning. The question is, should um, child molesters be castrated? Um, do I think this is um, a reasonable punishment for them? Before, um, back in the day when I was doing those videos, and I said that I thought they should be castrated, um, I did not have the feelings that I do today having a son. Um, you know, I got married and I had a child and um, things, I'm so much more sentimental about different things and so much more passionate, passionate about things now. And um, this topic came about because Jared has a molester, a child molester, a sex offender living up the road from his house and he has a child as well. And um, he's at this point very upset and... Um, because, you know, he, he's wanting to move because it enrages him. And it enrages me to know that there are people like this this type of mentality because it upsets me. I do not deal with this type of crap very well um, from my childhood. And now that I have a son, it's even worse. Okay? I feel that child molesters should be dealt with. I never considered exactly how they should be dealt with. But when you consider castration, um, personally now at this point that I have a child, I wouldn't say it's a horrible idea. Okay, you castrate a child molester because if you can put your huge ass penis, even if it's a small one, it's too big to fit inside a child, a baby, an infant, no matter what. Okay, no matter what size the child is, a small child is someone that you should not touch in a sexual way, much less have intercourse with them. So, consider this, and I have two stories for you. There was a friend of mine who I was very dear to, or very close to, and I found out that he apparently went to his neighbor's house, who was um, a friend of his, and apparently he had sex with their young son. This While this child bled from his anus and screamed, he continually had sodomized this young boy, okay? Are you feeling me right now? Are you upset right now? Consider this. I have a friend, she told me a story. She had three kids, which now she only has one child. She has one child only because the two, her two other kids were killed. Let me tell you how they were killed. A guy who was a neighbor of hers broke into her house somehow. She left the child, the children home to be babysat by a neighbor of hers, a, a lady, young lady, and somehow she left and this guy came in and he sodomized raped these two children, these two young children. He molested them in many different ways. He took advantage of them. He terrorized them, cut, bruised them, and then he beheaded these children. She comes home to see her raped children, molested, now beheaded, and he takes her in after she enters the home and attempts to rape her. Although she gets away, runs out into the street, screams for help. Are you feeling me right now? Now that I have a child, a son, I am much more passionate about this topic because I have no consideration, no sympathy for anyone who has this mentality, much less who has acted on this. And if you have this mentality, get yourself out of, soci out of society and try to help yourself so that people won't murder you because I want to murder someone like this. I want to hurt someone like this. So tell me, before you lash out at me today and tell me that I'm horrible for wanting to castrate a man, consider the fact that this man has molested your child, okay? And it upsets me, it enrages me that there are people like this, that there are people like this who have done this, and I have heard stories after story after story about this. But this last story about the beheading and the rape was just beyond me. I, I didn't even know what to say to this lady. I was so, 
I was so sorry when I heard something like this. And at the time, I was pregnant. So I was very emotional about it. Now that I have my son, I feel so much more for these people. I, I, I think about it so much more. I consider that this could possibly happen to my child. And you know what? I try to block that out of my head. But think about it. You know what I mean? Don't lash out at me that I have a problem that I want to castrate a man who would do this. Because check this out. If I walk into my house and witness something like this going on, it's going down. Trust me. Okay? I don't have any sympathy for this. And if you think I have a problem with being this way, then you got a problem yourself. Okay? I love you guys. That's all. I love you, Jared. I wish you the best. Move. Move as soon as you can. Anyone else in this situation, move away. Get the hell away from this person. Because trust me, if you find someone doing this to your child, if you're not doing it yourself, and if you're doing it yourself to, this ch to your child, you're even worse for doing it. And I know that there are parents out there who do it. I'm on. I'm gone. See you guys. Peace and love.